You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence.com. I'm Mike, and today we're taking a look at what's in this box from uh, Birmingham Pen Company. Uh, I reached out to Birmingham Pen Company recently because they have just reformulated all of their inks. They used to have a ton of inks, and they... Um, Decided they wanted to make them all in-house. They took those down, sold them out, and uh, now they're making them entirely in-house. So, let's see what we have in here. Heavy, thank you for your business. They did send these out uh, gratis. Oh, this is nice. It's a cork card. Look at that. That's neat. Very neat. I like that. Good stuff. Uh, they did send these out for review, so I did not give them my business this time. However, I have bought a bunch of their inks in the past. So, I'm hoping that these are awesome. I actually don't even have any idea what they sent. Oh, look at this postcard. That's a, that's a nice postcard. All right, very cool. And a sticker, oh wait, is this a magnet? It's a magnet, look at that. If only my refrigerator could use magnets. I'm gonna put this, oh wait, I have a set of uh, Helmer drawers from Ikea, I'll put these on. Yeah, my stainless steel looking fridge doesn't do magnets, I don't know, man. All right, oh, three inks, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. They have, I think, uh, three, six, they have 11 inks. They have 11 inks now in their new line. So, let's see. All oh, the outside of the boxes are not marked. So these are the same boxes they were using before. Let's get this box out of here. Uh, so I'm gonna have to mark these as new formulations, I think. And usually I'll write on the top of them, on the top of the little box here, what it is because they don't mark the outside of the box, which has got to be a heck of a lot simpler for them. Uh, but yeah. All right. What do we have here? These nice glass bottles. Here we have boiler steam. Let's see. That is. Uh, like It looks like a nice sort of tealy, uh, very dark blue, maybe a blue-black. Uh, and one of the things I really like about Birmingham inks is that they have like a story on the side of them. So this one's uh, about the Pennsylvania Railroad, the boiler steam, uh, chartered in 1846 to connect Harrisburg and Pittsburgh. The Penny had several PGH stations. The PRR grew to become the largest company in the world with a budget surpassing the U.S. government and employing 150,000 people. Very cool. Very cool. All right. So that's one. We got the boiler steam here. I'll, I've got this uh, Colodex or uh, coloring oversized here ready to go to swatch these here in just a minute. Let's see what the second one is. What do we have here? Fountain turquoise. Very cool. Uh, let's see this one on their site. Uh, Fountain turquoise. Yeah, it looks like a very nice turquoise. Looking forward to that. It says Point Park, located at the confluence of the Moon, Matagahea and Allegheny Rivers. The point, uh, uh, the point State Park fountain sprays up. Uh, spray. Goodness, I cannot read this far away from the thing. Hold on. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, located at the confluence of the Monongahela and Allegheny. I have no idea if I'm saying the, that first one right. The Point State Park fountain sprays water 150 feet upwards, drawn from an underground aquifer. Well, that's fun. Okay. What's the second one, or the third one rather? They have a couple. I'm really hoping to get. Electron. What is this? Don't know electron, ice rink electron. Okay, cool. So this is a light blue. They have a couple of other blues and a green, a couple of greens. Uh, so let's see. Cool, cool, cool. This is uh, this is electron. Of course, these are thirty mil bottles, as it says there. The world's first peacetime use atomic power plant, Shipping Port Atomic Power Station, opened twenty minutes north of Pittsburgh in 1957. Its reactor core was recommissioned from a nuclear aircraft carrier. Carrier, <laughs> awesome, and powered by highly enriched uranium. Well, that sounds cool. All right, let's get in here and see what these are. All right, so this is boiler steam. I <laughs> got my microphone in the picture. All right, that looks nice. It's a very nice looking dark blue so far, which I'm into. Yeah, little hints of teal coming up as it dries. Let's go ahead and say, write down what this is before I forget. This is, there we go. Birmingham Pin Company Boiler Steam New Formula. Uh, I'm not gonna have these pins, or these uh, inks, you know, in in pins yet. So I'm just using this one. This is uh, got Cala Silmenonite or something, <laughs> some weird mineral I've never heard of, uh, which is a really cool gray. All right, so that's boiler steam. Nice. Second, we have electron. Go ahead and get this guy going. 
Ooh, look at that. Yeah, that's beautiful. I was told that I needed to try this one out, so I'm glad that they sent this one because this is good looking. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. Electron. Very nice. All right. One to go. And fountain turquoise. Make sure I get all the ink off of here. There we go. Well, this looks like it's going to be nice. I do love a good turquoise. Although, <laughs> these are three colors that I am real into. These uh, these color families. All right. Let's get this over here. Get a little more of this action. These oversized color decks are so good for these kinds of swatchings. You can find these on uh, Anna's site over at the wellappointeddesk.com uh, in her shop. She makes these with her husband, Bob, and they are really good. So, Fountain Turquoise. Excuse my shaky writing and such. I've uh, just finished working out with Audrey, but this came to the door, and I did not want to. Uh, I did not want to wait to open it up, and I didn't want to not do an unboxing. So uh, you get my slightly breathless, uh, still heart pounding, and also my hands are a little bit shaky still from working out. But uh, these are looking good. Let's see if there's any like weird bleed or anything. Nope, nope, nothing on the other side. I'm not expecting anything to come through a coloring card, although it can happen. I have a few inks that do go through it, uh, but that's a real bad sign. So these not going through it is at least a, a very good sign. Uh, so here we go. Uh, this one is totally dry up here. Right there, boiler steam. A very nice, uh, very nice blue blackish. Leans a little bit teal, I suppose. And we've got uh, down here electron, which is almost completely dry, except for that one corner where there's a whole bunch of ink, uh, and this little like smear down here that hasn't dried out yet. But uh, that one also looks really nice. That's the kind of blue that I'm super into. This sort of like indigo almost. And then Birmingham Finco uh, Fountain Turquoise down here, which I think actually looks a little bit better in person than the camera's picking up. The camera's making it look m like slightly more green than it actually is. I think that's probably because it hasn't completely dried, but uh, it's very, very close anyway. So there you go. All right, so that's three new inks from Birmingham Finco. And um, they have at least three or four more others that I want to try. And these are nine bucks for the 30 mil bottle. I think they also have a larger bottle. Let me see. Yeah, they have 30, 60, and 120 mil bottles. And uh, they're really rounding out their, um, their available colors. So currently, like I said, they have 11 colors. Uh, blues, teals, purples, uh, turquoise. Ooh, gunpowder is a cool gray. They've got uh, relative cadmium, which used to be a, uh, an orange. I didn't really love that one, but this looks like a salmon. And it looks very cool. Uh, a couple more blues, a couple greens, another like uh, purpley twilight one. So yeah, neat stuff. And I'm looking forward to doing more of these. I can't wait to get these in a pen, see how they work on paper and stuff. But I do love it when companies are making their own thing and they shift to uh, you know doing something in-house. I think that's, I mean, it's a lot of work, but it also comes out very cool. So thanks for joining me. Uh, go check these out at Birmingham Penco, and uh, I'll have reviews for these going up uh, in the coming days, but not like today because, you know, it's too early. All right, I'll see you later. Peace out.